Well, what do you do when your baby is crying for the 50th time in an hour? Cuddle it, talk sweetly, or opt for the trusty dummy? Research out today suggests that they may not be the best option, as 9 in 10 dummies are contaminated with harmful bacteria. To make matters worse, a fifth were heavily contaminated with a mixture of uh, all sorts of bits and pieces from the body, let's say. So, should parents automatically reach for the dummy when trying to comfort the child, or is there an alternative? I'm delighted to say I'm uh, joined now by Tessa Clark from the a company Milton, who uh, anybody who's had children or grandchildren will be very familiar with. She is a sterilisation expert. Uh, Tess, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, it, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Um, you know, you do want your child to be calm and uh, the best thing is to put something in their mouth as a comforter. My, my two grandsons uh, were both given dummies, not something that I actually did when my own children were younger, but then my daughter sucked her finger and that, that took a lot of shaking off. So, Really and truly, something needs to go in their mouth, it would appear. Yeah, of course, and it's up to parents exactly what they use to comfort their children. And for parents that choose to um, use a soother, it's just important they really um, make sure they take care of it and keep it sterile and clean so that babies aren't contracting the sort of germs that we've heard about from the research. Because um, as a mother myself, um, I know how important it is to want to protect your baby and keep them free from harmful germs because what that really means is having a poorly baby with potentially an upset stomach and sleepless nights and um, again spreading um, potential illness around the family which is not great for anyone. The thing is, the mother can do everything possible to keep it sterilised, put it in one of those special units, use something like Milton, uh, whatever. But the minute it's in the charge of the baby, if you like, well, then anything could happen. They drop it down where they're sitting, they drop it on the floor and pick it up. You, you know, you, you, however hard you try to sterilise it as a parent, the minute it's in the baby's charge, well... They could go anywhere. Yeah, of course, and um, babies are obviously notorious for um, throwing their dummies in all sorts of places. So what we really recommend at Milton is that you know, parents have always got a clean one handy and you can use something like a portable steriliser, um, you know, such as one from Milton, just to keep your, your dummy in. So it's always got one to hand. So baby can throw this on the floor and instead of leaving them crying whilst you're fighting how to clean it, you can just take one out of the, uh, the soother steriliser and then give it back to baby without having to rinse it at all. And you can use the, the dirty soother, pop it back inside and then it's ready to go again. And you could do that throughout the day and I'm sure it's lots of fun for babies. But parents are then safe in the knowledge that they're giving their baby the clean soother which they you know is really really important yeah but you've got to be watching that child all the time then haven't you 24 hours a day because you know you can have a sterilizer you can do all the precautions as i said but if they're on the floor crawling about or they're sitting in a chair um, whatever watching the telly whatever they do you know um that's not going to stay in their mouth all the time and a lot of people would say well look you know Aren't we being too namby-pamby about this? Aren't we being too fussy? Children have survived from the year dot without all of this. You know, of course people will say that, but here at Milton we recommend uh, sterilising soothers up till the baby's first birthday, mainly because the uh, baby's immune system isn't fully developed until then, and it's actually at its lowest point for at the six-month um, age. So we really recommend keeping that sterile just for these nasty bugs that can really make your baby ill. Um, and some of the, the um, bacteria we have found on the soothers could actually make your baby very unwell. So just making parents aware of that and not trying to scare them, just making them aware, and especially mums of Cambridgeshire, of which, you know, I am one, just to be vigilant. And if you think your baby has spat it out and potentially somewhere that, you know, could have picked up bacteria, just use the new one that's already been sterilised, you know, in your soother steriliser. See, the cynical might say, well, you and other people from the company would say this because obviously, you know, it's in your interest to encourage people to buy more and more uh, sterilising liquid, more and more equipment. We won't mention the company again. You know, the thing is, it, it's in the interest of the company to push this, isn't it? Well, you know, you could, there's an angle there, but also I'm a mum myself. I've got a two-year-old and he used soothers. And as a mum, I can, you know, use that angle to say, I wouldn't want my baby to have a, a dummy with any of this bacteria on it that we've spoken about. I wouldn't want a poorly baby and I would personally do anything I can to protect him from harm, as I'm sure, you know, I've got friends in and around Cambridgeshire that would do the same. And, and you know, whatever method you use, we just want to make sure that babies and their environment, you know, are safe and uh, we do what we can to protect them. Is there serious evidence that uh, they do pick up terrible things from soothers? Because babies put all sorts of things in their mouths, don't they? I mean, is the alternative to suck their thumb, you know, suck a finger, suck a, a you know, a bit of a blanket? I mean, is there any, any evidence, real evidence, that what they pick up when they're doing this is really harmful? 
Well, we're not saying to parents, don't use soothers, because they're absolutely fantastic things to use if mums do choose to. What we're saying is if you do use one, just make sure it's sterile. Um, we we um, found that a fifth of the dummies that we tested had um, harmful, you know, really harmful, um, heavily contaminated bacteria on them. And actually, the good news is most mums are cleaning their dummies properly and using them. And actually, there's no problem there. And baby can continue to use their soother, you know, as they want, with just mums making sure that they, you know, really are just keeping it clean. It's been really good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us. That was Tessa Clark um, from Cambridgeshire, mum from Cambridgeshire, who is also uh, an expert in dummy sterilisation. What are you?